let's get a view on all this from for a spokesman for the opposition for the transitional council Imam Bourgeges joins me now large crowd here I know you represent the council we'll ask their views in a minute but what's the view on the street here in Benghazi at the moment yeah the street uh, now they are very worried about what happened to uh, their brothers uh, in uh, Masrat as in and, and uh, in, uh, in Jdabi of course and other uh, uh, towns and cities in the West uh, Bank uh, people there are without uh, water without uh, electricity without food and without food uh, ammunition or, uh, weapons to defend themselves so they are really 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 worried we are all worried about that now of course you're following the big picture diplomatic and political developments NATO seem to be taking the lead now on this aerial campaign any worries about that that maybe they won't pursue Gaddafi as toughly as the Americans did in the past the fact that when you've got 28 countries in an alliance one of them might veto any action. Uh, actually, uh, I think what Gaddafi is doing of violating the 1973 uh, resolution in the last uh, uh, week, uh, they, uh, it uh, made a consensus between all the uh, countries that uh, this regime have be, uh, sh they should fight this regime and they have to act to have immediate action against it. Uh, and if this needs uh, the coordination with NATO or with more countries, we will, we will welcome that. What's uh, our main concern is uh, to uh, protect the civilians and to uh, um, uh, remove the siege of the uh, cities uh, and uh, uh, to liberate our uh, country. We welcome any action that it will help us uh, for that. But is that only the role of NATO? Because I spent a few hours in Ajdabia, uh, 24 hours ago I was there, and it was clear to me that you've got very brave young fighters, but they're really terribly disorganized, no command, no communication among them. Do your military need to get their act together now? Yes, actually, but uh, you know what happened here, that uh, uh, the military have been uh, very weak, and this was done on purpose uh, from Gaddafi. He strengthened his uh, security forces, and uh, he made the army very weak, so uh, they can't fight him. Yes, but you have a former interior minister, Abdel Fattah Yunus, supposed to be leading this. No sign of any leadership or command there on the ground. Are you happy with what leadership are doing I know they are doing their best if this is enough it's we know the situation is very critical and very hard uh, they, the, our army is in between the revolutionaries and fighting and they are dying uh, for us uh, but if this is enough that's why we need the help of other countries we want to build uh, a proper army to defend us but uh, this will take time so that's why we welcome any action from the international society which we are part of it to protect us Bob Bugagas thank you very much for joining us here on Al Jazeera